Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new, hey, what's up? My name is Darlene and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing something that I have not done in a long time. First of all, I have not actually sat down in front of the camera at a desk with all this setup. And I haven't like filmed a sit down video. I've been so obsessed and really shifting my channel towards like more fashion videos, which I am here for 100%. But it feels good to sit down and just to talk to you guys and share something fun. Also, Ranger is in the background. If you guys don't know who Ranger is, Ranger is my nine-month-old puppy. <laughs> I love you. Um, he's actually being pretty calm right now. Normally when I film, I have to put him in the other room because he's just wild. We'll see how long he lasts there. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you totally should. We had a bit of a scare yesterday, and I had to rush him to the vet, and we were there all night. Thankfully, he's doing so much better. I won't go into detail about, like, what happened and stuff, but um, it was scary, and he's good to go. He's all great. He is perfectly fine and healthy, so that's all that matters. So, today's video is obviously a what's in my bag video, and I actually have this gorgeous... Actually, if you guys look at it, it looks like a... Louis Vuitton bag, but it's not. It's a like a dupe or it's like inspired by Louis Vuitton. I'm not a person that needs to have like real everything. I do have a real Louis Vuitton bag and I do have other like real name brand stuff, but I am totally okay with going the more affordable route and not paying like a buttload of money just to have a bag that I want. Especially me, like I am very like very clumsy with things and I would much rather pay 50 bucks for a great bag as opposed to like 2000 you feel me I mean I feel like one day at some point in my life I will get the real never full but as of right now where I my point in my life this is just perfect for me like I said this is actually the dupe for the never full Louis Vuitton bag it is a great bag you guys the brand is Daisy Rose and I first actually heard of them from Amazon, but I think they shifted because I actually ordered this bag on Walmart. I was like, what's that called? <laughs> I ordered it on Walmart. And I feel like Walmart is kind of turning into like an Amazon because a lot of their things that are online are kind of like different retailers and stuff. So this is um, from Daisy Rose, but I did find it on Walmart. Now, I actually saw someone post about this and I was like so intrigued because they have like great reviews. I actually went ahead and followed the Instagram account and they sell out of these bags so, so fast. This is like my third time trying to order one and I finally got through. And again, it was like less than $50. It literally came to me in a day, super fast shipping. It's amazing quality. So if you guys are looking for a really good dupe, I know a lot of people like sell them, you know, like kind of sketchy ways. Um, like dupes and stuff and I know like a friend of mine like years ago had a great dupe it was the same bag but it was like the white checkers and Daisy Rose also does have the white checkered as well but I feel like I have like every like thing Louis Vuitton I own is like the brown um version so I think I was like you know what I think I'll go with the brown bag classic brown but I had a friend who had a like you know, like a replica. Well, she paid almost a hundred bucks for hers and hers literally started falling apart instantly. And the cool thing about this one is I actually like watched a bunch of YouTube reviews and people have like great things to say about this. So yes, if you're in the market for a great bag and you want to kind of get a feel for like the never full without committing to the price, this is a great option. I will say again, they do sell out really, really, really fast. So if you are interested, definitely follow them on Instagram and keep your notifications turned on for their stories. Because once they go up on their website, they immediately link it to their stories. And that's how I knew I just swiped up, added it to my cart, and then we're good to go. So yes, enough blabbing. I always talk forever in my intros. Let's just get started with today's what's in my bag. <laughs> so obviously, we are showing you this beautiful um lv dupe it's like it's literally taking up the entire screen it's such a great value guys here is the inside i've only had this i would say for like about a week or so all right guys we're back so sorry my memory card was full and like it completely stopped recording and i checked it before so that's the weird part so i had to do a little switcheroo and get a new memory card i forgot where it was at but i'm pretty sure i was Talking about the quality of the bag, it's obviously not like any sort of Louis Vuitton, um, that type of, you know, quality, but it is a great, thick, sturdy material. 
I actually love the little details on the sides. They're very exact same thing, similar. It has all the pockets inside. I, I think the Neverfull doesn't have any pockets inside. So you actually get like two little slots here, like for your phone or for your keys or whatever. And a little zipper side, which is cool. And then you also have this detachable pouch that comes with it. So you can even use this like as a wristlet. Take it out, put your makeup in here. I haven't used it yet, but you can do many things for it. So, so the first thing is my makeup bag. And this is just like the makeup bag I use just for like, I guess, random little touch-up things that I have. I have a, like a dry bar hair finishing spray. I have some mascara, liner, lipsticks, you know, just the basic things you might need. Um, I love this little makeup bag. I actually got this from an HEB beauty event that I was invited to last year, so... I love this bag. I also have some lotion. If you guys, okay, if you have like severely dry skin on your hands and you like Bath and Body Works lotions just don't even work for you anymore because I was going to get into the point where like and no lotions would work for me. And this stuff is amazing. It's the Lubiderm Advanced Therapy lotion for intensely hydrates extra dry skin i don't really have dry skin only like on my hands and like my body but this stuff is amazing i actually have the like big bottle on my nightstand and i carry this in my bag because this stuff is so good it doesn't have a strong scent to it, it has like a very light scent but this is like my favorite hands down lotion i will always recommend this because i think this is some really really good stuff and if you don't like scents, this is perfect because the scent, like, it's just a very light, light fragrance and it's it feels so good on. The next two items, since they're in the same category, <laughs> um, 2020 has changed my outlook on disinfectant spray and hand sanitizer. Um, I just have this um, HEB brand disinfectant spray. This is all I could find at the time. I have a couple bottles of Lysol that I am saving. But this stuff works pretty good and it has all the same claims and ingredients. It doesn't really smell the best, but it works. And I always carry this in my back because I've just become so accustomed. And I think even after everything calms down, I will always carry these two items in my bag. Because when I'm at the drive-thru, I always spray my card. I spray the bags. I spray myself when I leave the store. I don't spray my face to like where I can inhale it. But I will spray like my arms or like my clothing. Just a quick little, you know? Gets the job done. It works great, guys. And then I have a hand sanitizer. It actually looks like a lotion. The It's like totally being washed out right now. But this is the raw sugar hand sanitizer. Non-drying. It's definitely non-drying, but... Okay. The smell is coconut lemon verbena. Am I saying that right? Ver, verbena. Verbena. I think so. This smells like absolute crap. I do not recommend this. Somebody um, asked where I got this or where this was from in my car tour video but you guys this smells awful i literally want a gag every time i put this on but i have to because it disinfects and it kills the germs all right moving on <laughs> i just noticed i have a lot of heb products if you're in texas we stand heb oh boy do we love our heb <laughs> next i have are some baby wipes i have yet to find or come across any type of disinfectant wipe so what I normally do is I get a wipey and I spray this on the wipey and it gets the job done. Or if I need a little cleanup, if I spill something on myself while I am out and about. Because 9 out of 10 times I normally do spill something on me because I am super, super clumsy. So having a little bag of wipies in my bag is a necessity. Um, next I am going to see. What do we have? Okay, so I have a pair of sunglasses lighting changing I could I could tell oh gosh it's getting darker but next I have some sunglasses um it's funny because these are actually a pair of diff sunglasses that I got for a collaboration I did with them they're super cute they're a beautiful like cat eye ooh, ooh. yes I love these they're super cute I love the leopard they are great quality these are actually my first diff eyeglasses or sunglasses I have never used them before, but they're great. And I actually have it in a key um, little glass case. I can't find the one that came with this. It's somewhere in my room, but I just slipped it in one of these. And yes, Ranger did get to this. He chewed it up. I don't want to talk about it. But look how cute he looks just staring outside the window. So the next item, I have some pistachios. They're running kind of low on here. 
But you guys, I always need a snack. It wouldn't be a what's in my bag video if I didn't show some sort of a snack. I love pistachios. They are a great source of potassium and protein, I think. So if I feel a little hungry, eat a few of these and I'm less hangry. <laughs> and then, let's see, next I have my wallet. She is definitely a beauty, so pretty. I love the little designs. You can definitely tell this is a James Avery wallet by this little design and this little design right here. I love it. It is a zip around wallet. Lots of room for all of your cards and your coins. So I love this. I mainly just keep um, my like major cards and money in here. And then in this little thing, I carry like my ID and my debit card. But if you guys aren't aware, I actually am a James Avery ambassador. If you're in Texas, an absolute dream come true. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I actually share a bunch of looks from them and I will be featuring a post with this wallet coming very soon because I love this thing. Um, but next thing I have is my keys. So I talked about this keychain in my last car vlog video. This is actually from the boutique where I work at. I love this leather strap. I think it's so cute. Very, you know, rustic boho vibes. This is a revamped LV product. So it is a real authenticated LV item. It's just refurbished, I guess you could say, into a new design. So it has the beautiful, you know, little logo here has a tassel and then I actually also have this little card holder it's also a revamped item I love the colors and matches you know so cute together oh, I love it um and then here I basically have my oh, let me hide that I'll put the Starbucks in front of it because I don't want to show my ID um I have like my um ID my debit card and then I have like some cash in here I love it. I love the leather. I love how it just snaps. And I've never had any issues with anything falling out. So cute. I love it. It's very durable. I find that I like this better than those like circle key rings. Those just, I don't like them. I like this. It's comfy. I also have, you know, a little license plate with a name on it. My car key. I have my AirPods, which I don't normally keep on here. So I don't really know why they're on here. Oh, because I went to the grocery store the other day and... I always take my AirPods with me because I don't like talking to people. <laughs> I'd rather just zone out, get in, get out, and having AirPods is a, guys, AirPods at the grocery store is a game changer. Let me tell y'all. If you haven't done it yet, if you have AirPods, you haven't taken them to the store, what are you waiting for? Because I'm telling y'all, game changer. So moving on to this little inside zipper thing, and it's actually a really good size for the zipper. What's in here? All I have is a pen. I love these. These are the Papermate Ink Joy pens. They are super smooth. They last forever, and I love the way these write. So I always have a pin on me, especially now I'm going to drive throughs got to sign stuff. I don't want to use their pins. Going to the bank, use my own pin. Good to go. And it's just good. I always have like a pin. I should actually have a notebook in here, which I don't. Moving on to these next little two pockets here. I have another Germex. This one actually is expired, um, but my cousin told me that it loses 10%. So, like, okay, if you have a if you have a expired hand sanitizer, I believe she said it just loses like 10% of the disinfectantness per year. But I have Germex in there, so if you guys have expired hand sanitizer, don't throw it away because it's still useful. Just you know, double up. <laughs> Next, I have this little, I don't know where I got this from. It's like a little survival, festival survival kit. But it has, it's super cool because it has like antibacterial stuff in here, band-aids. I always keep this in my bag in case I need a band-aid because I am very, very clumsy. It's super compact, super small, and it fits perfectly inside of my pocket. Next, I have a leave. I get migraines pretty often, and I did read, and I feel like a few people told me this as well, that Advil and was it Tylenol actually can enhance your risks of getting the C word. I don't exactly know how true it is, but I actually prefer Aleve a lot more now since I've been using Aleve as versus Advil. I feel like literally in 10 minutes my headache is gone or it's at least going away. So I really have been loving Aleve if you have migraines. Aleve 
works pretty good. Moving on to the last little pocket in here. I just have, where are you? Okay, so I have two scrunchies. Um, I actually think I got this one on a pack from Amazon, which I really like these scrunchies. And I got this one. These are more of like a satin or like a silky material. I got these at, I think, Home Goods. I always, I always have scrunchies in my bag. I don't use hair ties anymore. I feel like scrunchies are better for your hair and actually get less headaches wearing scrunchies. Why are you crying, my love? Come here. Are you okay today? What's the matter? Okay, so he's like a cat or something outside. Just, just sit down, okay? You'll be fine. I promise. Last item. Well, the last item I have is a key. Yeah, it's a key. I get a key. Um, sunglasses cleaner. I always have this in my bag in case I need to clean my sunglasses. I actually should put this in with my glasses so that they're all nice and, yeah, together. So that's all I have in my bag. All right, guys, and I'm going to go and close the video out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was so different for me to film, but I am so glad I did this. I've been wanting to film in... I've been wanting to film an updated what's in my bag video for so long, and I've been waiting for this bag... I've been waiting for this bag to come in and use it for a while so I can kind of test it out and give you guys like a little mini review on this. So you guys actually got like a two-in-one. You got a review and a what's in my bag. So thank you guys for watching. I believe the last what's in my bag video I did was I want to say like in 2017 or maybe like 2018. A long time ago. I was full blonde then, I think. I don't know. I'll probably go watch it later because it's kind of always fun to, you know, compare and see things. If you aren't following me on my Instagram, I know I mentioned Instagram earlier. But I don't think I said where you can find me at. My handle is Darlene Texas. It is the same thing as my YouTube name. And if you guys want to give me a follow, let me know you came from this video. And, and I'll be sure to follow you back because I love making friends online. And it's always so fun to connect with you guys. Give me a follow. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.